Some of you may be familiar with working with artboards. They're usually found in Adobe Illustrator. They are kind of like sketch areas where you can create thoughts or individual designs within the same document so that you can have two things side by side. Maybe you're designing a stationary kit and you have a business card, a letterhead, and an envelope and you want to see them all together. Software that deals with pages like Adobe InDesign, they don't work with artboards. Now Photoshop kind of hovers between InDesign and Illustrator, so you can have a raster-based document that has regular layers, or you can have a document that is capable of having multiple artboards. I would say that you shouldn't use artboards unless you need to see multiple variations of something or multiple different ideas or concepts on the same page or plane at the same time. Our boards are actually pretty easy to, to work with in Photoshop as long as you understand how to use them. And then once you create your document, um, you need to understand that your layers will be grouped per artboard. And so if you want to modify artboard one, you go to the artboard one layer group. And if you want to modify artboard two, you go to the artboard two layer group. The easiest way to create uh, to use artboards in Photoshop is to create a new document that has artboards. So let's go ahead and choose File New. We're going to create a document. You'll notice that if you use the presets at the top, um, you always have the option to activate artboards, but different presets will or will not have that checked by default. So Photo and Print do not have artboards selected, but Illustration, depending on the option that you choose, will often have artboards activated by default. You also see them in web a lot, so by default artboards have been selected. I don't care what size document you make, um, your first artboard will be the size that you create, and so whatever you have selected just hit OK, as long as artboards is selected. When you work with an artboard, if we look at the layers panel, there's a grouping. Every grouping is a new artboard. And so if you wanted to add something to Artboard 1, you would add new layers, and all of these layers, whatever's on them, would appear on Artboard 1. If you didn't want to see the artboard anymore, you could turn the eyeball off on the top of the layer group, and then you don't have to see the artboard. If you want to create multiple artboards, you can do that in one of two ways. So you can come up to the Layer menu and choose New, and then Artboard. It will ask you some questions about it. What do you want to name it? We'll leave it as Artboard 2 for now. How big do you want it to be? We'll leave it the same size. So if we zoom out, we now have two artboards. Another way to make an artboard is to use the Artboard tool. If you push and hold on your Move tool at the very top of your Tools panel, you'll see the Artboard tool. The Artboard tool can be used to make new artboards or to modify existing artboards. And so if you need to have an artboard for maybe a book cover, you're designing the front cover, the back cover, and the spine, you could click and drag to create an artboard for the front. You can click and drag to create one for the spine, and then you can click and drag to create an artboard for the back cover. You can also Whoops. You can also use the artboard tool to modify an artboard. And so you can select an artboard and you can click and drag to resize. This isn't the best way to do that though because we're kind of just clicking and dragging to make up sizes. So if you look at your options bar at the top of the screen, we can change the size. So we could say that this artboard will be 1000 pixels across and 2000 pixels tall and then it will modify until it's where we want it to be. You can also use the Move tool to move the artboard, so you can click the name of the artboard and you can drag it. So when I change the size of that artboard, it made it so it was overlapping the other artboard. So I may want to reposition these artboards so they're out of the way. If you want to change the name of the artboard, you can change the name of the artboard on your Layers panel. So I could change Artboard 5 to be Back Cover and Artboard 4 to be Spine and Artboard 3 to be Front Cover. can also get rid of Artboard 1 and 2 by selecting them and hitting the trash can. Now all I have to do is resize these. So the Spine, I will select the Artboard tool. The Spine layer group is selected, so now I can change the width and height. 
So let's say that the width is going to be 222, but the height has to be 2000 to match the other artboard. Now when I click out, it will resize. I can do the same for the front cover. So I can select the front cover with the artboard tool. I can change the size to be the same as the back cover. 1000 pixels by 2000 pixels. And then with the move tool, I can move them closer or further apart. You will have to use artboards for your movie, not your movie poster, your, you're going to create a book or an album cover. You will have to use artboards for that project. So make sure you put a note in your notebook to reference this demo when you need help with that during, I think it's like unit four that you're going to work on that.